For every 244 people, there is a grand total of one toilet in the seventh largest city of India. Pune, in the western state of Maharashtra, has ranked 11th in India's 2018 cleanliness, hygiene and sanitation rankings. But there is much to be achieved in providing sustainable sanitation solutions. And more often than not, it is the women who have to bear the brunt of a lack of clean and accessible public toilet facilities. As an entrepreneur who runs a portable sanitation business, Ulka Sadhalkar is well aware of this harsh reality. Every woman has a toilet emergency story and we end up using a toilet only if it's a do or die situation. There is a woman working on a construction site or if there is a girl who's going to a party or there's a high-end uh, five-star restaurant, they all have the right to access to a good toilet. It is this goal that she hopes to achieve in collaboration with Pune's local administration by transforming discarded old municipal buses into tea toilets, or toilets for her. These decommissioned buses were over 13 years old, lying in workshops and depots of the municipal corporation, waiting to be scrapped. That would have meant increased landfill pollution and high energy and water wastage. Instead, they are now bright fuchsia sanitation centres for women stationed at 12 crowded public places in the city, like major bus stops, tourist areas and community centres. I was going to go to the high court. I was going to go to the high court. I was going to go to the high court. I was going to go to the bus stop and the market. There were no available toilets in the high court. I was going to go to the concept of the mobile toilet. बस मधे कन्वर्शन करो ना मिते वो बेकिले। बाहर ऐसे तीतम अच्छा रास्ता, पानी नस्ता, घाने डा प्रकार को पास्तो। अन्य ये ती बस मधे खूबत स्वच्छता है। ती बस ऐसे नस्ते तर खूबत प्रॉब्लम निर्माण होता है। कारण लेडीज ला खूबत प्रॉब्लम है तब। वॉशरूम नस्ले मुझे मी पानी जास्ता पीता स्नोते। मते शरीर � दुखना वगैरह चालू होता था। मतलब डॉक्टर ना पैसे देने पे क्या आता है जो उड़े बसे सीता चालू था लेते हैं वापस उन मग सगस प्रॉब्लम नहीं था लेकिन मजे पैसे सुधा वात होता है। Countless women like Urmila Salvi have experienced extreme discomfort and serious health issues because of a lack of access to public toilets. When she started managing one of the tea toilet centers in 2017. She knew instantly that she wanted to make this facility a safe space for women. दूसरी कड़े मतलब तो जेंट्स वगैरह आस्तो, हमारे जो प्रॉब्लम आस्तो जेंट्स लामी सांगु चकत नहीं ना, नहीं का, हमारे जागोष्टी पाई जास्ता तले दिच्छा, तो हमी तो ना मनसोक का सब बोलू शक्तो, फ्रीली, आई है हमारे पाई जे, तुम्हारे मिर्च का मोनो, नहीं का, पानी पाई जास्ले, तो उन वगैरह धुआ Every bus has or every T-Mobile toilet has uh, one or two Western toilets and about uh, three uh, Indian toilets. They work on solar lights, uh, uh, sensor lights, uh, so that we are not wasting electricity. All the lights that are running right now are running on solar. Uh, we have trouble only in monsoons, that time we connect to the main grid, the main uh, electricity lines. Uh, we have uh, a a diaper changing station for uh, babies, for women who come since this is a park and they might require it. Uh, other than that, our key feature this is in this bus is that you know we play regular videos on our TV on uh, health. It could be on hand washing habits. It could be on you know self examination for breast cancer at home. So these are the authorized videos that we play uh, in the bus, and it's a private space, so they can just come watch it and leave from here. Uh, if they want leaflets, we also make them available for the ladies. For a fee of 5 rupees, a woman can access these and a plethora of other services thoughtfully packed into every refurbished bus. 
menstrual hygiene products, a space for breastfeeding, as well as a cafe that sells drinking water and refreshments. On an average, at least 250 women visit these toilets every day. This makes the tea buses a significant step in helping provide special attention to the public sanitation needs of women and girls, a mandate that features in the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. People did not recognize it as a toilet. And then we started, when we started telling people that this is a toilet, their perception of public toilet was that it's going to be dirty. So they did not bother to venture inside. There are a lot of working women in the city. There are students, there are girls, there are school children. And they all are out on the move now. And it, they had to be, uh, we had to give something to them that, you know, to know that, okay, this public space also includes uh, you in it.